What's up guys, it is Mark and we are in the lab today and we're gonna be doing an install here on the KNN cold air intake on the JT Gladiator. All right, so as always, go ahead and open everything up. Make sure that you've got all your parts here. Um, k and does a pretty good job of doing a little display, labeling everything. So basically off of this here, we're gonna make sure we've got that piece, we got that piece, we got that guy, we got our bands, couple um, plugs here, fittings, grommets. Uh, so basically we're gonna go through, make sure everything here, always the included nice sticker. Don't forget at the end, make sure you register your product, get your warranty. And then we're going to go ahead and, as usual, we are going to start taking the stuff on uh, the factory setup apart right now. All right, so over here on the factory side, it is time to start removing a couple guys here. Got a couple sensors to unplug. Go ahead and pry that guy off. Got to take these two bolts, loosen that band, remove this guy here. Go ahead and remove this guy over here. We're going to get this whole piece out of the way in our first step. So crankcase is off, this bolt is off here, two bolts here, this guy's unplugged, these clips are removed, this is loosened up, this is loosened up. So it looks like the top half is pretty much ready to go. Now we actually have to remove this grill. Those of you who don't know how to remove the grill, a couple push pins up top. We actually have to get this bumper out of the way though in order to get that grill off. All right, so we went ahead and pulled everything out here. Now, one thing that did happen is, if you see these two holes right here, these little rubber grommets are uh, on the factory air box. We're actually gonna reuse those, so make sure you pull those off of your intake um, air box. If they come off, um, just pop them right back in those same holes. And we'll go to the next step. All right, so now that the grill is out of the way, we are going to remove this cross member. And the reason why you gotta do that is because we've gotta to get to these two bolts right here that are gonna remove the ductwork that is sitting right there. So this is gonna be your T30 here. I'm actually just gonna take that one out, loosen this up, swing it around out of the way so that I can get to these with the T20 here. And we'll go ahead and just pull those straight out. So I'll just let that guy hang there. And yep, I did drop the other bolt. So let me get that guy. These guys. And again, I just 
just set that other one up there from this. These guys are done. And I'm gonna loosen this guy up. He is out. He does have a little prong. The rubber stayed down in there, so that's good. And we're clear. All right, so once you get that uh, out of the way, we can go ahead and put this guy back in here with our T30. So now, that guy back up. There we go. All right, now that we've got everything factory removed, again, this was all taken out. We've got to these bolts here. We've reattached that. We can go ahead and put the grill back on. We're going to actually tighten up the bumper here. We were able to shimmy it just a little bit out of the way. So that was nice. We'll put all that back together and then we'll start working with the new pieces to go inside. All right, guys. So first thing you do before you get rid of everything from the factory, we do have to remove this sensor here. I will say that it's not the most fun. Um, and there's actually an arrow that's pointing to the left. However, when I flipped it and looked in from this side, I actually needed to turn it the opposite direction from the arrow to get it to come out. So I feel like the arrow is for when you put it in to tighten it. And then you'll see there's a little notch right here that is supposed to keep this from sliding back and loosening up. So you got to pry this little tab over, twist it back, and then this guy comes out. And we're actually going to move this over to our cannon part. You got this guy here, it's gonna go in there, and then this is gonna slide right inside. All right, so now we're gonna take our new uh, pre-filter box. We went ahead and got our hex heads. We've got the lock washers and the regular washers, and we're actually gonna come through the inside of the box here, and then we're gonna attach these two guys here, which are gonna go into those little rubber grommets that we pulled off of the factory and we put back in the Jeep. All right, now that those are on, we're gonna take this guy. This is what connects over to the crankcase. It simply just threads in there. Get that guy going. And then you're gonna use a 19 to snug it down. All right, that guy's on. These guys are on here. We're getting closer. All right, so now that we've got those two put together, we went ahead and grabbed our filter. I'm gonna grab an eight millimeter here. We're gonna go ahead and tighten this up. And again, the reason why we're doing this guy first is because now we are actually going to take this guy here, slide this in, and by the looks of it, if the box is on its side, this guy is gonna be pointing up. And we're gonna take those three remaining bolts with the washers, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, tighten this guy up. But I do want to say one thing. I'm looking here at this. Anybody notice anything? That hole doesn't go through. That hole doesn't go through. That one goes through. So it looks like we're actually going to have to do a little bit of drilling, which was unexpected. Uh, quality control check, maybe? No biggie, guys. The hole's already somewhat there. Probably just in the mold. We'll take a drill bit. We'll drill that out real quick. All right, there's a little bit better. Drilled that out. Now we can fasten this guy in. All right, guys, so um, I've got the two pieces connected. Um, but I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of, uh, kind of bummed. I mean, no big deal. I had to drill out a couple holes. But now I'm looking at this box where these two seat, and I'm seeing a gap. Anybody else see that? There's a gap. Not all the way around there, but I can see light through this. See that right there? And these guys are tightened. There's no gasket, no sealant, nothing really on here to keep stuff from getting through that. I may just go ahead and RTV this here. I wish I had some gasket material. And you know what? Actually, I think I do. All right, much better. So we did, we found some gasket material and we made our own gasket to go all the way around. Now it seals up nice and clean. I decided against the RTV because it was going to be messy when we have to clean this and service and maintain it. So I thought the gasket was a better way to go than RTV. All right. So now that these guys are all secure, that guy is on. We've now put our uh, little coupler here to go on the throttle body. We also had to put, make sure you put this guy on first, slide it on and get the second one. And we're ready to uh, drop this into our Jeep. All right. Well, I wasn't able to uh, 
unfortunately hold it and show you guys. Since I needed both hands to do it, I guess I really do need to invest in some kind of tripod that's gonna last more than one video shoot. But um, I got it in. I will say the one thing that I did is over here, pushing this guy in and get it to pop down into those rubber grommets, then actually putting this other bolt, the factory bolt that we had already removed in the beginning, putting that back in kind of helped lock this in and keep this secure while I played with the little bushing and boot right here to get it lined up. It kind of needed to shove that way just a little bit more. Um, we did connect this line here. So now we're just gonna take our eight millimeter guys, we're gonna tighten there. Um, me personally, when I do factory stuff that doesn't require re-putting um, maybe some bolts back on, if I can put them at least back in their home, I like to do that. So these guys are no longer being used here, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the 10 millimeters back down in there. Uh, and leave them that way just in case he ever goes back to he doesn't figure out what bolts he needs uh, so we're going to put those back in there we're going to tighten this up we are going to uh, reconnect our sensor here and then what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to cut these old guys off these little christmas trees because we're not used just for a cleaner look we don't need them anymore might as well get rid of them uh, we'll show you once everything's buttoned up Well, guys and girls, that's going to do it for our Canon cold air intake for the JT Gladiator today. Overall, pretty simple install. I would definitely say you can do this at home. Um, the only thing that you may need help with is if you've already put on an aftermarket bumper, you already have a winch on there. You do have to take the grill off. So if your winch and your bumper are up against it, you might need a second person to help you remove that bumper and winch so that you can get the grill off. Taking the grill off is a must. So that's about it. Um, pretty standard tools, a couple torques. Um, our little ratcheting uh, uh, tools helped out a lot. Um, but I would say probably you could have this done in an hour if you have all your tools laid out and ready to go. So um, very clean install, very simple. Uh, only hiccup we ran into were those two holes that I did have to drill out. And then again, not coming really with a gasket for those two pieces to connect together. Didn't like that there was an opening in there. I don't want any fluids, any more dirt coming past that filter. So I did add that in there, but uh, just be a little picky on it. But thanks again, guys, for watching, watching, not washing wash your vehicles before you bring them in the shop. But thanks for watching guys. Um, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe. If you've got any questions about the install, comment them below. Or if you just want to post something that you guys want us to see, we're back. We're doing a couple more videos. So I apologize for a little delay in things, but we're back guys. And we'll talk to you guys next time.